In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the benefits of having a child in the UK, how much you're paid for having a baby in the UK. I'm going to run you guys through the whole process, how you can claim yours, how to even check if you're eligible or not, how much I earn, because currently I'm on maternity leave. I just had a baby in the UK. I recently shared that on my channel. So I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how much I get paid by the government every month. Yes, the government actually pays me every month and then how you can claim yours as well how you can check if you're eligible or anytime you're eligible what to do so that you too might be able to get this money you guys are welcome to my channel my name is tochi welcome back don't forget to like this video so youtube can recommend it to more people share it to everyone that benefits from it because it's important guys talking about money quick one i am not on telegram i don't give out my whatsapp number so, so if you're chatting with anybody on this platform claiming to be me maybe with my profile picture or name or something like that that is obviously not me it's an imposter it's a scammer please be careful so you don't give out your money okay Before i continue guys this video is brought to you in partnership with amber i know that a lot of people usually find it very difficult getting accommodations when they move to a new country in fact if you're thinking of moving to a new country especially as a student one of the things you have to consider is oh where do i stay how do i get a good accommodation you don't have to worry yourself anymore about that because amber is here for you Amber is the premier student accommodation platform where students can search for their homes according to their preferences and they have accommodations close to so many universities. So you can filter your search according to your location, according to your pocket, according to the type of accommodation you're looking for. They have different types of accommodations guys, including dorms and suites, single rooms and so much more. Amber student accommodations are conveniently located in major cities and around different universities and they are fully equipped and secured. All prices of their accommodation on the Amber website are inclusive of utilities like electricity and water so you would always get a fair deal and you have a hassle-free experience. Not only are their accommodations very fast and easy to book, you would also have access to some of their facilities that make studying abroad appealing, like their dining hall, fitness center and gym, gaming room, parking space, swimming pool, and lots more. So please hurry now and book your accommodation with Amber using the link in my description box to register. That way you would also get a free one-on-one -on -one assistance. So please don't forget to use the link in the description box. So thank you so much Amber for sponsoring today's video. Now guys, let's just get started. Now, if your visa allows you to live and work in the UK, you might be entitled to a statutory maternity pay or a maternity allowance if you have a baby, right? So what is the difference between a statutory maternity pay and maternity allowance? We're going to be discussing all that in this video. I'm going to share like how to know the one you're qualified for and how to apply for it basically and how much I currently earn. Of course, I'll be sharing with you the one, you know, I'm being paid for and then how much I earn and then you too can check whether you are qualified for yours or when you're qualified for yours you will know so that you can apply for it you must also note that this is not classed as public funds so if you're qualified for it feel free to apply for it so basically statutory maternity pay is a regular payment made by an employer to an employee who is having a baby or who is going on maternity leave and is paid for up to 39 weeks. So if you have a job in the UK and you're qualified for a statutory maternity pay, your employer is going to be paying you, you know, a particular amount of money every month for up to 39 weeks. That is about nine months. Yeah, so this pay is for nine months because I get a lot of questions around this. So imagine that you just had a baby and you're at home taking care of your baby and you're being paid for nine whole months, right? Some people even take maternity leave for up to one year, but you're paid for just 39 weeks. That is about nine months. That sounds good, right? So this is something you need to look into. And that is why I'm sharing this with you guys so that you can have an idea of what it is like getting paid for having a baby in the UK. So statutory maternity pay is paid for up to 39 weeks and if you're qualified you will get 90% of your average weekly earnings for the first six weeks and then £172 
or 90% of your average weekly earnings for the next 33 weeks, whichever is lower. So if 90% of your average weekly earnings is lower than 172 pounds, that is what you'll be paid. But if not, then you will get 172 pounds. In fact, whichever is lower, that is what you'll be paid for the next 33 weeks. So for the first six weeks, you get 90% of your average weekly earnings. And then for the next 33 weeks, you get 90% of your average weekly earnings or 172 pounds, whichever is lower. And then the next one is maternity allowance. I'm going to dwell more on this one because this is what I'm qualified for. So just like statutory maternity pay, Maternity allowance is the payment you get basically when you take time off to have a baby. So when you have a baby and you're not qualified for the statutory maternity pay, then you can check if you're qualified for the maternity allowance. And if you are, then the government is going to pay you this maternity allowance and it's also for 39 weeks. So you could get your maternity allowance if you're employed and you're not qualified for statutory maternity pay or if you're self-employed or if you recently stopped work or if you take part in unpaid work for the business of your spouse or civil partner. So in my case, I'm getting maternity allowance from the government because I do not qualify for statutory maternity pay from my employer simply because I'm not a full-time staff. I only work just about two times a week. If you've been following me on this channel, you will know that I work just twice a week and I'm self-employed as well, right? So that is the reason, you know, there's some things are going to calculate. They know how to check all these things. Your employer would check it to see if you're actually qualified for statutory to see maternity pay or not but in my case i wasn't qualified for it because i didn't meet the salary requirement for them to pay me right and also i am self-employed i had to you know cross check with my employer just to be sure that i'm not qualified for it even though i had an idea that i'm not going to be qualified for statutory maternity pay but i still just went ahead to my manager and you know went to cross check with her and everything and then i was told that i'm not qualified for it you know given the reason and i was given an smp form one this is like a form from your employer that will state the reason why you're not being paid a statutory maternity pay okay so my employer gave me that form and that actually proves that yes this person works with us but we're not able to pay this person the statutory maternity pay for these reasons right they'll put down the reason and then with that you can now apply to the government for maternity allowance and then i got a mat b1 form from my midwife because that's also important okay that shows that you're actually pregnant it shows your due date and all of that name of your midwife their number and all that and I went to the UK government website and downloaded the maternity allowance form you can either send the form to your home address on request like if you go on their website and request for it or you download the form directly from the government website fill it and then send it back to them together with these other forms that is the must be one form and the SMP form one from your employer. There's also an address there for you to send it back to them. So doing all this, you don't need to visit any office, you know, known address or anything. Everything you can do, fill everything online in your house and then send it back to them by post. There's usually an address there where you can send it back to okay in that form you're going to be downloading you're going to fill in a lot of things on the form all your details when you want them to start paying you do you want them to pay you weekly or monthly you're going to even put in your account details and all that and then you send it back to them you're also expected to add your pay slips i think for about 13 weeks or thereabouts to the application as well they usually get back to you within 20 days of your application. So in my case, they sent a text that they've received my application and that they will get back to me. I shouldn't reapply or I shouldn't, you know, reach them. They are, they are currently, you know, looking at it and they will get back to me to tell me whether it's been approved or not right so that was basically how i applied for my maternity allowance and before i knew it they started paying me so i didn't go to anywhere i didn't see anybody i didn't speak with anybody i was just in my house i filled the forms got everything they needed you know sent my pay slips and everything basically if you end up to 30 pounds a week or more then you should be qualified for maternity allowance so currently i get paid 680 pounds every month sometimes 
price is a bit higher it could be like 689 sometimes 682 but it's just about 680 pounds every month so this is good money like this is not bad imagine you just being at home and earning 680 pounds every month it could help with your bills at home as well it might not be a lot but it's not bad okay so we all know that you know child care is a great challenge for us here in the uk especially for some of us who still have like little children so for me i can't really do a full-time job because my husband is working full-time and i can only work when he's available to take care of the children that is why i just work twice a week in fact even the twice a week is even a struggle for me and then i am self-employed as well so you don't even have to be working or to have a job to be entitled to maternity allowance you can be self-employed and you will still be entitled to maternity allowance okay so you need to check all those things the information is out there on the government website uk government website at gov.uk and always check your situation check your eligibility just to see if you're eligible to apply because this is good money trust me you, you might not even understand how far this money can go for you until it begins to enter your account every month okay and they would ask you when you're filling the form if you want them to pay you weekly or if you want them to pay you monthly whichever one you want and even exactly when you want them to start paying you you know whichever date you choose or whichever month you choose that you want them to start paying you that is when they will start paying you exactly that date so you might be concerned that you're not working full time that you don't know whether you are eligible to apply for it or you might be concerned that you don't even have a job so you don't know whether you're qualified for it so you could be doing your business you know being self-employed you might still be qualified you might still be eligible to apply for a maternity allowance so don't worry if you don't qualify for statutory maternity pay from your employer maybe you've not worked with them for a long time or maybe you're not qualified for it because of the hours you do with them and things like that then you can check if you're qualified for maternity allowance and trust me if you earn about 30 pounds a week or more in at least 13 weeks then you should be qualified for maternity allowance and i'm also happy to announce that this has increased before it used to be 605 pounds but now it's about 680 pounds so it's a good thing it has increased and i'm sure that it will keep increasing so please always check if you plan to have a baby in the uk or you're currently pregnant or something you can always check if you're eligible and if you are please do well to apply because you are actually entitled to it okay and this is not classed as public funds because a lot of people are actually scared oh is this public funds is it not i'm telling you right now that it is not public funds it's your entitlement so long as you have a job in fact you've already seen the criteria okay so long as you meet that criteria then you are actually qualified for it so i hope this video actually helps a lot of people we've come to the end thank you guys so much for watching please share this video to everyone it will benefit you guys and i'll see you all in my next one bye bye